Hi there, I'm Cynthia Nessel from Create with Cynthia and welcome to Home Talk. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to take these vintage clothespins and turn them into carrots that I will then display on my table for a spring tablescape. So let's get started. The first thing I did is I took some of these vintage clothespins and I drilled a hole in the top of the clothespin. Okay, I just stuck a drill like this in there to kind of get a good hole because you're going to need that hole to add your greenery. All the materials on this project are in the material list. And if you'd like to watch more of my episodes, make sure you hit the follow button, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do with our vintage clothespins is we're going to paint them. And I've got some paint that's by Debbie's Design Diary DIY Paint. It's a chalk clay-based paint that I like to use. I'm using the color Summer Crush, which is an orange color. And I'm gonna paint the bottom of the clothespins the orange color. And I like to use this clay chalk based paint because you can adhere it to any surface. No prepping is needed and it's also environmentally friendly and it does not contain any VOCs and it smells fine. So if you're painting inside, there's no problems with that. So I've got the orange on the bottom and I'm going to paint the top this brown color, which is called layered chocolate, because as we all know, carrots are in the ground and the tops usually look brown from the dirt. Okay. Now I, um, recently created some carrots out of spindle legs. So you can also view that project on my home talk page. So let me know in the comment section, um, because I'm following right along with you. I'm in the comment section. I can answer any questions you might have about this upcycled project. What do you like to upcycle? Do you have any projects you've been working on? Let me know. So the spindle carrots have dried and they look like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some wax to the, um, to the clothespin. I like to use wax because it makes it look a little bit more old and antique-ish. And you can also do um, some different fun techniques with different colors of wax. When you're working with wax, I'd always suggest that you use a chip brush that you can just throw in the garbage. And you also start with clear wax. So I've got some clear wax here by DIY Paint. I'm just going to apply it to the clothespins. And as you can see, the wax really changes the color of your clothespin. It deepens the paint color. Okay, so once you've applied wax, you should then wipe it off. I just usually take some washcloths and cut them into pieces and then just kind of wipe them off. It also helps to get all of the wax into... I love to go to the dollar store, so I picked up this... Um, grass from the dollar store and then I also had some old flowers and I thought I would just remove the leaf like that so I'm going to use tight bond glue just gonna get a little gobble of glue and I'm gonna put it into the hole I'm gonna take my green leaves here and I'll let that dry take the scissors and I'm just gonna cut a little bit off Apply my glue into the hole. Okay, this glue tends to dry yellow, so I'm going to wipe off the excess. I'm pretty obsessed with my carrots. I don't know about you guys. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching me make these little carrots. They're super fun. Again, you can use vintage clothespins. They're in the material list. You can also use spindles. Uh, the sky's the limit. and. Um, next, I'm going to show you how I decorate um, a centerpiece for my table using these little cute spindle carrots. So stay tuned for that. Now that my table is set, I'm ready to create my centerpiece using my vintage clothespin carrots and my spindle carrots. 
So the first thing you need to create a centerpiece using your vintage clothespin carrots is a container to place the carrots in. I had this old wooden box. It was actually a shadow box that I painted white and then added some nice candles to the sides. And I like how it's got a rectangular shape and it sits nicely on my table. Then I picked up these faux grass at the craft store and I got three of them and they fit perfectly into my container. You could really use any type of container to display your carrots. Then I'm just going to take my carrots and I'm going to add them to my centerpiece. I'm going to make it look like they're coming out of the ground. I've got three spindle carrots and five of the vintage clothespin carrots. And there you have it. Now there's one thing missing, and that is my little critter. Every carrot centerpiece needs a critter. I hope you've enjoyed this Home Talk TV episode where I take vintage clothespins and turn them into carrots and create a beautiful centerpiece for you. I'm Cynthia Nessel from Create with Cynthia. You can check out my website or my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me. I'll be back for another episode next week. And in the meantime, go out there and create something.